All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get started with the 37th annual firefighter competition opening ceremony. We appreciate you working with us since we had to reschedule our event from yesterday because of Tropical Storm Colin. And one thing about firefighters uh, that you can say, they're always ready to reschedule because you never know when that alarm's going to go out. You never know what you're going to have to plan, how you're going to have to reschedule your dinner plans or a meeting. So we thank you for working with us and being here today. Just a couple of opening remarks. Uh, safety is number one. We want everybody to have a very fun event today. Uh, I've done an interview just a little bit ago about the 37th Annual Firefighter Competition, and I, I want everybody to remember the three Fs today. Fun, family, and freedom. That's what we're here for. And uh, we want you to have a good time because we know when you work in emergency services that your job is very stressful. And we want you to just lay back today, have a great time. Sure, we're gonna have a competitive spirit. There's gonna be a brotherhood here, but we're have, here to have a great time and uh, just, just enjoy yourselves. Uh, today, inside of the bays, we have a booth set up, Southport Fire Department does, where we're selling t-shirts, challenge coins, hats, patches, raffle tickets. All of these things help us to offset the cost of this event. So if you could stop by the Southport Fire Department booth, we would appreciate that. I'm also looking for, and immediately following the opening ceremony, I'm gonna have somebody up here doing a list. We're having a pie eating contest in about an hour we're gonna have it set up right here in front of the stage, and I'm looking for volunteers to be involved. Whoever wins the pie eating contest gets $100 today. All right, so we're looking for volunteers to get involved in that. So we'll have a sign up list on that in just a moment. Uh, right now we're gonna have Fire Marshal Madison Drew to come and do our invocation, and we're gonna have a welcome address followed by the Honorable Mayor, Dr. Joe Pat Hatem, and we appreciate him being here if he wants to make his way to the stage. Let us pray. Oh God of heaven, we come before you wanting to thank you this afternoon, this evening, for this beautiful day that we have got today. And Lord, I come before you asking you, Lord, that you just give a hand of protection to each and every one that is represented here. All of the teams, all of the fire departments here that are represented here today, God, we ask that you just give a hand of protection. And God, protect them, amen, at each event. And Lord, God, we ask you to help us today. God, let us have a safe 4th of July. God, let there be no, no bad calls, no bad anything, Lord. God, we ask you to help us today. God, we remember our fallen firefighters. God, we pray for their families today as they grieve and mourn the loss of their loved ones. And we'll give you the praise, the glory, and the honor in the only saving name, which is Jesus Christ the righteous. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. All right. We're so thankful to have Mayor Hayden with us of the city of Southport. And I believe he's got an honorary firefighter with him. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Chief. I believe you said fun, family, and freedom. So I have family here, the first ladies here, children are here, and, and grandson right here. Stand out so they can see you, big man. There we go. Future firefighter right there. So welcome to the 37th Annual Firefighters and Apparatus Expo. It is great to be back. I want to congratulate Fire Chief Charles Drew and his department for their preparedness and resilience. From pandemic to tropical storm, the city of Southport and its citizens are always ready and resolute regardless of the challenge. So thank you, Chief. Southport's fire department celebrated the 100th anniversary of the 1922 Model T fire truck this year and it is important for all fire departments to have their life-saving trucks and equipment to do their job. As we saw on 
They run towards the danger, the disaster, the destruction, to prevent death without acknowledging the possibility of their own. We salute you today and every day, and we welcome our visiting fire departments who are here to compete, compete today. So thank you. Thank you all for being here. Southport is back. July 4th is back. Thank you all. We have our 4th of July uh, president with us today. Uh, he's the chairman of the festival, Randy Jones. I want him to come and say just a few words about the festival. Thank you, Chief. Uh, first of all, welcome from the North Carolina 4th of July Festival. We're so excited to have this event back. It's been a while, but as with anything our Southport Fire Department does, it just gets bigger and better. So I know you're not here to see me, so all I want to say is happy 4th of July. Enjoy yourself and keep cool. Thank you, Chief. We'll now have the presentation of the colors by the Southport Fire Department Honor Guard. If you'll please stand and remove your hats. Battalion Chief Chris Thomas will now come and lead us in our Pledge of Allegiance, followed by the National Anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets were clear the bombs bursting star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Let's give our Southport Fire Department Honor Guard a hand clap. We're very honored again this year to have the Tunnel to Towers 9-11 Never Forget mobile display with us. 
and we have made sure that it's here for display because we remember the ultimate sacrifice that our brothers gave, 343 of them on September the 11th, 2001. I'd like for the, um, I forgot his title. Just call him Billy, he said. And uh, we're, we're excited to have him with us today. And he's going to talk to you a little bit about Tunnels to Towers and introduce some folks. I have to follow that. That was amazing. Thank you. Folks, it's glad to be back in Southport. We had a couple of years where we weren't able to come. But on behalf of the Foundation and Steve and Chris and myself, it's great to be back. We want to make it a tradition. Ralph? All right. Just putting that out there. But I want to tell you, we, we've had some changes in the foundation over the years uh, since we've been here. Our Gold Star program, we still have that, where we build our computerized homes for our amputee veterans that have been in Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh, we still continue to do that. We have our first responder program, which is still going strong, I hate to say. But we take care of our first responders that are injured in the line of duty. Uh, if they happen to lose their life, of course, we pay off their mortgages. But that's changed as well. Now, if a first responder is critically injured in the line of duty, they come and get in line for one of our smart homes, just like our, our veterans. And we started a new program in December, folks. This one is something that has been needed in the United States of America as long as I can remember. Uh, in California, in December, we kicked off our homeless veterans program. In Riverside, California, West LA, and Phoenix, Arizona this year, we're building 500 homes for homeless veterans. Thank you. Pretty, pretty amazing, pretty amazing. About, about eight weeks ago now, in Houston, Texas, there was a Holiday Inn hotel that's closing. We just purchased that hotel. There are 270 rooms there. Starting in the next month, we'll be completely renovated and turned into energy efficient apartments. So we'll have 270 homes for our veterans in Houston, Texas next year. Uh, and you have to agree with me, that's something that's been needed. But folks, we're doing more than just getting our veterans off the street. We have PTSD, drug and alcohol abuse counselors, and we have another group called AMVETS, and they're getting the, the guys and gals homes, uh, jobs, excuse me. And so we're not only getting them off the street, we're getting them back into society. But we're, we're honored today. We, we've never had this happen since at any stop that I have done since I've been doing this. Where we've had the pleasure of having one of our home recipients with us. We have our Gold Star program. And we have the very first person at the foundation to ever receive a Gold Star home. And let me tell you a little bit about this young lady. Nancy Gass, she's a surviving spouse of Jerry Gass Jr. Jerry was a Special Force medic, a sniper, a Green Beret with a third Special Forces group. And get this, when you see her, get this, Nancy was also a special agent at Fort Bragg herself. They met there, fell in love, got married, and had two great children, Stella and Charlie. When Jerry was on his second deployment to Afghanistan in 2014, he died of a massive heart attack while on a combat mission very shortly after saving the life of his combat controller. Jerry saved many lives during his two deployments and countless combat missions. He was 33 years old when he died. Charlie and Stella had just turned one and two. In 2018, Nancy, like I said, was the very first recipient of a Gold Star home. And folks, she's a North Carolina gal. And if you can't tell it, I'm a North Carolina guy too. I kind of got that accent. But in 2021, Nancy went to work at the foundation and she ran our Gold Star program. And it is fantastic for me right now to be able to introduce you to Nancy Gass and have her come up and speak about that program. as we take this opportunity to recognize this one-of-a-kind exhibit. 
in the community of Southport and the great state of North Carolina. Southport has a very special place in my heart. My husband and I actually spent time here. He brought me here and we got married here on Oak Island in 2011. And we watched Safe Haven together the year before he died. Does anyone know the movie Safe Haven? Yes. Jerry brought me here because he loved it here. And he loved all of you, and so do I. And I would not be standing before you today if it wasn't for him. North Carolina also has a very special place in Tunnel to Towers Heart. As the home to Fort Bragg and Camp Lejeune, our state has a very strong role in our nation's defense force. And in addition, North Carolina would not be what it is without our incredible first responder forces. Thank you to all of you. You are our heroes, and we honor you, we love you, and we appreciate your service and the sacrifices that you make for our freedom. We have over 35 recipient families in the state of North Carolina for Tunnel to Towers. These include catastrophically injured veterans, for whom we built specially adapted smart homes, Gold Star families, and families of fallen first responders. A Gold Star family is the surviving family of a service member who died in the line of duty and service to our country. As of the end of 2021, Tunnel to Towers has provided over 452 mortgage-free homes to our nation's most deserving heroes and their families left behind. This amounts to well over 1,000 children in our home programs, and two of them are standing right here, my children Charlie and Stella. Thank you to all of you who support us in our mission. Your donations, your prayers, and you're spreading awareness, it changes lives for generations. Tunnel to Towers changed my life in 2018. Four years after my husband died, they found me on Facebook and they sent me a Facebook message and said they wanted to provide me and the kids a mortgage-free home. The kids who were babies at the time Jerry died were four and five years old when Tunnel to Towers gave us a home. As you can imagine, it changed everything. Three years later, Frank, our CEO, who is an uncompensated volunteer, called me and said, asked me to join the staff of Tunnel to Towers so I could help other Gold Star families like mine. From the time they began the Gold Star program in 2018 to when I joined the staff last January, they had grown to over to 59 Gold Star families. Today, we have over 180 Gold Star families around the country. So many lives changed. Tunnel to Towers restores hope and shows each and every one of these families and surviving spouses that they are not alone. You, with your support, show us that we are not alone, we are not forgotten, and our heroes will never be forgotten. Our core mission at Tunnel to Towers is to never forget our nation's heroes and the sacrifices they have made for our freedom. This mobile exhibit serves this mission by honoring our nation's heroes of September 11, 2001. We will never forget them and what they did for us and our fellow citizens on that fateful day. They saved so many lives. We will never forget the victims from that day across all three locations, and we honor their surviving families. At Tunnel to Towers, we don't focus on the fact that this was a catastrophic attack. We focus on the fact that this was the greatest rescue and evacuation effort that this country has ever seen. In addition to the first responders that went directly to Ground Zero, the Pentagon, and Shanksville, 
We honor all the unsung heroes of that day to include all of the boat captains who responded of their own accord to evacuate innocent civilians from Lower Manhattan that morning. Sailors and citizens came together by boat and evacuated nearly 500,000 souls from the island of Manhattan in under nine hours. This is the greatest sea evacuation in history. This is what 9-11 is all about, the good. There was so much good born of so much tragedy and heartbreak. People did what they could that day because sometimes it's all that we can do. This is what Tunnel to Towers is all about. Our motto from St. Francis of Assisi, say it with me if you know it, while we have time, let us do good. When you do good, it creates a ripple effect. When you change someone's day or you change someone's life, they inevitably go forward and do the same. It snowballs. You never know the true impact you make with each person that you help or with whom you show love and kindness or simple compassion. St. Francis also said this, remember that when you leave this earth, you can take with you nothing that you have received, only what you have given. I've said this before and I'll say it again, the only thing better than receiving a mortgage-free home is getting to tell another Gold Star family that they are gonna receive a mortgage-free home, that we are going to take care of their family. Tunnel to Towers began as one family's modest labor of love to honor their baby brother, Stephen Siller, who gave up his life in the South Tower and has now grown to a nationally known charity of choice, a four-star rated charity with Charity Navigator, the highest possible rating for eight years and counting. Over 94 cents on every dollar we take in goes out to our programs and services. This level of financial stewardship is unparalleled. Go to t2t.org if you'd like to learn more or to donate $11 a month to support our efforts. Your support will change lives. I hope you all enjoy this mobile exhibit and this festival here and the firefighter competition as we honor our heroes and enjoy our freedom this 4th of July weekend, surrounded by so many of our special North Carolina firefighters. Find a firefighter this weekend and thank them. Thank you. Thank you to the Tunnels to Towers 9-11 Never Forget mobile display. It's an investment that we have invested in and we appreciate having them here again this year. Mm -hmm.